So this question says a model predicts that the population of Springfield was 15,000 in 2005. I always pay attention to the quantitative information in these longer questions. The model also predicts that each year for the next five years, the population P increased by 4%. So there was an increase of 4% of the previous year's population. Which equation best represents this model where X is the number of years after 2005? Okay, well, 2005 was mentioned up here. If X is the number of years after 2005, that means in 2005, X was equal to zero. That's important to know. Um, all right, so for X is less than or equal to five. Okay, so we're not getting too far beyond five years after 2005. All right, so what do I know? I like, again, to use this information. Um, I'm going to actually start off by saying, noticing my answer choices all have this X in the, the exponent position. I love to see, well, what happens when X equals zero, right? And what does it mean that X is zero? Well, we already mentioned it. It means that we're in the year 2005. What do we know about what's happening in the year 2005? Well, we know that the population should be 15,000. So in essence, when I put a zero here for X, I should get a P value over here of 15,000. And we can see there for choice A, that has not happened, right? 15 to the zero power is just one, and 0 0.96 times one is not 15,000. So that is gone. For choice B, if I put a zero here, 15,000 to the zero again is one, so we know that's out. So choice C, I put a zero here, 0 0.96 to the zero power is one, so we do get 15,000, so that's good. And for choice D, the same thing would happen. If I put a zero here, this becomes one. 15,000 times one is also 15,000. So, so both choices C and D are very good. So what's left over here that I need to pay attention to to determine what the correct answer is? Well, it's really this 0 0.96 versus this 1.04. And that's where the second bit of information we received, the 4% increase comes in because 1.04 represents a 4% increase, right? 4% more than 100% would be 1.04. So because of that, I'm very confident that choice D is the correct answer. Choice C would represent a 4% decrease, right? 100% minus 4% is 0 0.96. So that's the reason why choice C is incorrect.